this question goes back to a reaction that we covered in an earlier question, a separate video to which I will link right here. This is the reaction, this uh, chlorine dioxide reacting with hydroxide, and it gives us this table of data which we've already seen in an earlier question. I'll post a link here to it if you guys want to go back and see. From the earlier question, we determined, or should have determined, that the rate of this reaction is equal, of course, to K times the concentration of chlorine dioxide, sorry, squared, multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide to the first power. We also determined that K is equal to, or I left my you guys to determine that K is equal to 230 moles to the negative 2 powers multiplied by inverse seconds. That seems like a ridiculous uh, set of units, but that actually turns out to be the case for a lot of these uh, rate constants. They often are or do have ridiculous sets of units uh, because they have to cancel out properly with uh, the units for these components in order to give you a rate of molars per second. So that's sort of how it goes down. So rate is going to be equal to uh, this value of K multiplied once again by the concentration of chlorine dioxide squared multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide to the first power. Yeehaw! So, in this question it tells me, or asks me what the rate is when the concentration of chlorine dioxide is equal to 0.1 molar and the concentration of hydroxide is equal to 0.05 molar. Can we figure it out? Well, yeah, we should be able to figure out because now that we've determined what the rate law is for this reaction, you can actually figure out what the rate is at any moment in time if you know what the concentrations of A and B are. So we take these values, throw them in there, and then you just plug and chug with your calculator. I'll let you do that on your own, but you should get the correct answer.